For five generations, the Jones family has worked the same sawmill. The quality hardwood lumber they produce literally travels around the world. But each year they wonder if this year could be their last. J.M. Jones Lumber Company survived the Mississippi River floods of 1927, 1973, and 2011. Now the fight against the river happens almost every year, according to Howard Jones, vice president of J.M. Jones Lumber and fourth generation forester. The ground, um, the seepage is tremendous now because it, the river's been up for so long. And I don't know if this is just going to be the new norm. You know, they talk about having 100-year floods and 500-year floods. Well, we're having them every other year now. Jones and his family began building their own levee system around their lumber yard in 1997. It holds the river out, but with the vibration caused by the sawmill and the soaked ground from the rainwater, the family has to shut the mill down for days at a time so the ground won't crumble out from underneath them. Still, Jones has spoken to everyone who will listen about changes that need to be made to slow the flooding. There's now a lawsuit that Delbert Hoseman, the Secretary of State, has filed on behalf of the 16th section school lands against the Corps of Engineers. There's over 300,000 acres now of private landowners who have joined in this lawsuit who are tired of their land being flooded. So the, the Corps is being sued now based on their policies. Despite holding back the water at the mill, Jones is also concerned about the damage flooding will do to the forest seed logs and the future of those trees. Many of the species of trees have not adapted the ability to sit in water for months at a time, making the trees degrade at a rapid rate. Also, Mississippi River floodwaters leave behind sand, making the soil less than ideal for new trees to grow. Jones says this will affect the timber industry in the near future. Combined with a 25% tariff on all his goods going into China, Jones feels surrounded on all sides and left wondering when or if it will all end. If the river wasn't so high and hadn't been so high for so long, we would be logging in the Batcher land, which has a lot of the species that don't, we don't sell to China. The number one species we sell to China is red oak, and red oak grows in the hills, and we're forced to work in the hills right now because we cannot get in the swamps. So it's just, the, the, the two things are really tied, very much tied together. It's a terrible timing to have a high tariff with China.